it's Heidi here with Kiddos Corral. Today I'm just having a very, very casual day. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Last week I tried a new recipe to make Wendy's Frosties. It was the first time I've ever made a homemade Frosty and it came out so delicious that I had to share with all of you. I know that your kids are home a lot more lately with our current situation and I think this is a fantastic family recipe. It only requires three simple ingredients from your grocery store and a little bit of freezing time and you've got a frosty. So my husband and I decided to have a basically a fast food night at home. So I made some burgers and fries and I made them with some onions, some grill seasoning, and some mushrooms. They don't even have to be fresh mushrooms. And then once those got about done, um, you know, I topped them with some cheddar cheese. And then, let's see what else I did. Oh yes, I did some uh, french fries. And we love french fries in this house and I don't really know anybody who doesn't enjoy a good french fry. So we had some french fries and we had our hamburgers on bread, which, we love in this family we absolutely love and you know sonic has a sandwich like a burger that's called like a toaster or a toasty and we love them they are so so delicious anyways i made fast food at home with the wendy's frosty that only requires three ingredients i'm going to do a quick voiceover on this i hope you guys are doing fantastic i hope you enjoy thanks so much for watching so let's start cooking our burgers. I've got 80% lean ground beef made into patties. And I'm also putting in some frozen french fries right into the oven, just easy as can be. Now I've added in white onion and I'm using this grill the hamburger, grill time hamburger seasoning from Kroger. It is really good and it gives your burger that on the grill taste. Now I'm adding in just a simple drained jar of mushroom pieces right on top of the onions. And I just allow that to cook until the hamburgers are done. And here they are. They are done. I just place some cheese right on the top of the burgers and then, then it melts. And here is my burger. I just like mayonnaise on my burger, but you certainly can add whatever you like. Now, time for Wendy's Frosty. I have a half a gallon of chocolate milk. And to that, we're going to add in sweetened condensed milk. You're just going to pour that can right into the chocolate milk and stir. And I'm putting mine in a stainless steel bowl because this will have to be froze in the freezer. Now I'm adding in one container of whipped topping and I am using the extra creamy. You're just going to want to mix that right into the chocolate milk. Well, I guess I better get a spoon. So here, I finally got a spoon, and all you want to do is stir this together and make sure that all your lumps are out and it's nice and smooth. Now, this may not stir up completely smooth, but get it as close as you possibly can. This recipe is really simple, and I don't think you can mess it up. Now, I have covered my bowl with some aluminum foil, and I put it inside of the deep freezer. Now I got to find a new place for my fish sticks. And once that thickens, there you go. There's a Wendy's Frosty. Now I realize it doesn't look like your typical Wendy's Frosty, but when you taste this, it tastes just like a Wendy's Frosty and it is super delicious. It is so creamy and so, so good. It makes me want another one. Mm. 
Now, the proof is in the Frosty, and I know that you all like to see me try. So here I am drinking mine, and I'm giving you the seal of approval. It is delicious. Cheers! So as you can see, so you it can... is so easy to have a fast food night at home. And it was fantastic. It was, I had a juicy burger and wonderful french fries and a, a wonderful thick homemade Wendy's Frosty. And it was amazing. And we didn't only have the Wendy's Frosties one day. We ate on it for three days because it makes a giant thing. Now, if you have a large family, of course, that's not going to last you that long. But no more than it cost and how easy it was to put together. It was amazing. So get your kids involved in the kitchen. Have a great time. Make yourself some Wendy's Frosties. Turn on a movie. Whatever you guys like to do on a Saturday. I want to thank you guys so much for joining in on Kiddos Corral. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day when you see this. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And I'll be talking to you all again soon. Bye, guys.